Hey everyone, my name is Wallens and welcome to God of War. I wanna play and you wanna watch, so let's just make this beginning bit really, really quick. Okay, description. His vengeance against the gods of Olympus years behind him. Kratos now lives as a man in the realm of the Norse gods and monsters. It is in this harsh, unforgiving world that he must fight to survive and teach his son to do the same. So I haven't played the first three God of Wars before. Well, actually, last month I played about two hours of God of War 3. Didn't really get around to finishing it, but I did look up the story summaries, so I roughly know what's happened up until now. But either way, I don't think it actually matters too much because this is supposedly a soft reboot of the entire series, so it's perfectly okay to jump into the series completely blind, I assume. And yeah, basically, unless if you've been living on a rock, you know that this game is... It's been receiving some really, really, really high praise. And I think it's currently the the highest rated game on the entire PS4 platform. So really, let's just cut the crap and jump right into it. There's a handprint. The Leviathan Axe. Although kind of curious why there is a, a handprint on the tree like that. Found some. Get in the boat, boy. Father and a son. So if you're like me and you haven't seen the first three God of Wars before, this sun is a completely new development. It's not something that's happened in the first three series, or the first three entries in the games at all. The first three games, I believe, are also Greek mythology, but here, we're moving to Norse mythology. Still want me to tie it to the boat? So that's probably something to watch out for. That is enough. The marked trees follow the river downstream. We got a log and tied it to our boat, and now we're going somewhere. Father? What? Did something change? The forest feels different. Hmm. Everything is different, boy. Try not to dwell on it. Yes, sir. They seem really formal. Yes, sir? Oh! 
Oh, that is one strong man. We don't know where we are. We don't know what we're doing. But we're carrying a log with our son to the top of the mountain, maybe? Hmm. Judging by the the land here, I'm guessing it's around winter time. There's a bit of snow. Not many animals around because it's so cold. That was the last. <laughs> oh, did you see the rock? There's more handprints on it. Where do I see my mother? Oh, there do I see my father. Oh, there do they call to me. 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 She's ready. You may have noticed already too, but they're doing this thing with the camera angles where everything is a continuous shot. So in the first three God of Wars, uh, Kratos had a different family. He had a wife and he had a daughter. But throughout a bunch of um, mishappenings, we'll call it, they're both dead. And now in the fourth one, we found out that he has a son with another woman, but the wife, again, is dead. So definitely Kratos is someone who's gone through a lot of hardship and Pain. Emotional pain. talk is very detached sounds like he wasn't really around for teaching his son stuff
What are we hunting? You are hunting deer. Which way? In the direction of deer. Okay. Uh... This way. Hunt with Atreus. Right off the bat, we have a really... Father? Why are we doing this now? I need to know you can survive the journey. Then we leave for the mountain? Depends on you. Hunt. The journey. We're going off to a journey, and we just... sent off. His mother. We have a really tense father-son relationship here. What did you find? Tracks. Not deer, though. I'll keep looking. Yeah. It's a very... serene forest. It's winter, it's cold, but... it's not like it's snowing right now, so it's not too bad. Lost and found. We found this little toy nearer the house. I used to have one like it. I think it may be part of a set. If I can find more, they may be worth something. Ooh, did we get the second one out of four? So did I miss one already? Hmm. I'm not gonna try too hard. If I see it, I see it. If I don't, I don't. Whoa. <laughs> That's uh. I'll see what's up ahead. Hack silver. That's one way to open a chest. <laughs> wow. Okay. It seems like their mother, or uh, their mother, when I say their mother, I mean his wife and the kid's mother. Seems like she passed fairly recently, I would say. More tracks? Yeah. But they're too round. Could be a wild boar. Good. Oh! Now what? But neither of them are, like, crying or showing any emotion, so that might not be the case either. Although, I'm getting the impression that even if they felt sad, they're probably not the type to cry. Ah, the bridge is broken. I mean, do we want to go down, though? There might be stuff down there. <laughs> okay. This way, boy. Wait, deer tracks. They're fresh. This way! <laughs> if there were any deer, they might be a little bit scared by how loud you're talking. Whoa. Found it! Slow down, boy. Sorry. You are hunting deer, not chasing it. Yes, father. He's a little bit hasty. Hack silver. I'm assuming hack silver is gold. Getting the impression from these things on the side that we should be looking around a little bit more because there's a lot of stuff hidden around in the environment. Okay, but I'm not gonna like take forever just to look around. Just briefly. Briefly. Okay, that hut that we saw earlier where the mother's body was. I assume we live there? But around here, there's not really any settlements. We're like hermits. Huh. Maybe we could get over there, huh? But maybe not now. Or, do you want to try at least? <laughs> Will I die? I don't want to like, fall down and die. <laughs> no, I can't. Okay. Oh. He broke our bridge. How are we gonna get across? Step aside. Father's gonna help. Wow. Go. Oh. What happened here? Oh wow, that's that's new. There it is. Hold. What are you doing? Now its guard is up. 
Holy fire! Holy fire? When I tell you to fire... I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Find it. Find it. Damn. He was holding back from yelling at him, though. I think he just wants him to really grow up and learn how to hunt. Whoa! No! You are not ready! Stay back! Okay. Love me. I'll look at the journal later on. What are these? Whoa! Do I know how to dodge? There's a lot going on here. Okay, block. Block. Hold L and then X to evade. Okay, I see. Oh, hurry. There's more. My son is without a weapon right now, so I feel like I should probably hurry the heck up a little bit. Oh! There's a lot coming at me at the same time. This is not good. Ooh! Especially because I don't have the, the keys down yet. Oh! Draugr. They've never come this close to our woods before. Keep moving. Draugr. Mother said that Draugr were warriors who died, but their souls were too stubborn and angry to stop fighting. They'd fight off the Valkyrie that came to collect them and bring their own dead bodies back to life, warping and twisting their previous form into something else. Now they're husks of their former selves and fight anybody they can find. She also said they can come back in all different shapes and sizes, and that some even have powers that others may not. A Draugr. Is that a, a Norse mythology thing? Um, mythology stuff is not really something I know too much about, so feel free to drop any knowledge bombs on me. I feel like in my head, I know a little bit about Greek mythology, a little bit about Roman mythology, a little bit about Norse mythology, but if you ask me to label what mythology each specific thing is actually from, then that becomes a lot harder. <laughs> lore. No lore available yet, because we haven't learned about it. Okay. Bestiary. I gotta learn how to evade properly. We have this, like... So you can evade normally, or you can evade while holding a shield. And that shield, where does it come from? Oh, it's like the thing on my arm here. These might be vestiges of things from the previous games. Like this axe here, we can throw it and then recall it. That's pretty cool. But in the middle of fighting, I'm guessing we probably don't want to throw our axe away. Okay. Health stones. Ooh, somebody died here. That's not good. What's the symbol on the ground here? Well, somebody was here before. My son's over there. What's going on here? Um... Oh. Alright. Should we be in here? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, son. No. This chest is locked with runic magic. Find and solve the three seals to unlock it. So those three symbols there? Uh... I, I see you. Ah! We just break it. And we can break vases too, it seems, for money. Two of three. Where is the last one? There is one more. Oh, 
Oh, let's try doing this. What if we like... Oh, that's beautiful. Eden, Iden Apple, Legendary. You have collected one of three Iden <laughs> apples needed to increase your maximum health. Like an apple of life. They're the choice food of the gods. Find the nine total apples in the world in the chests locked by magic. Every three you collect will increase your maximum health. Yeah, I think nine. Nine is an important number in Norse mythology. So I'm guessing that's not going to be the only time we see the number nine pop up. Alright, son. What about this way? We came from that way. Atreus was standing over there, so I'm guessing this is also a place we can go to? Flag. Uh, here's this way. I can see more tracks. Yeah, okay, they want me to go that way. But I do want to see... Follow you. <laughs> Sorry, son. Yeah. It's hard to get over wanting to look at everything, you know? But the lands... They're not really clearly marked, so we should be a little bit careful here. Uh-oh. Okay, I can jump. <laughs> Hack silver? No, no, I thought we were hermits, but clearly there's, there's stuff around here. Oh, this is the other side of the, the chain that we were looking at before. How did he come down so fast? Whoa! Mmm, when he's behind me. Gotta be careful. Wolf's Bane. Oh, yeesh. They were just hungry. What? The wolves. They weren't mean. They were starving. Yes, I imagine they were. Yeah, it's not like we're saying they're mean. That's not why we killed them. We killed them because they were attacking us. And, you know, it's either we die or they die. Can I open the journal? Doesn't seem like it's letting me open the journal right now. Okay. Sorry, son. That was, uh, <laughs> that was a little scary, huh? Hmm. They had a nice thing going on here. Ooh. They can no longer use it. We can. <laughs> Our son has morals, but we don't. Yeah. We're kind of in a land, like, from the, the brisk winter and everything. I get the impression that we gotta do all that we can to survive, so... Looting from the dead is totally acceptable here. Totally. Now, what was I gonna say just before this? Lost my train of thought. Hmm. Can I open the journal now? No. That's it. Well, good thing we came here first. Oh my god. That's amazing. Look at our size difference though, holy crap. How old is Atreus? Like maybe... I don't know. Nine? Even younger? Now we gotta... We gotta raise him as a single father. Pretty much. Kratos... Oh, he's not a man of many emotions, but just thinking about what he's been through. He's been through a lot. Mind the edge, boy. His first wife and daughter dying, and now his second wife dying. We don't know anything about how he got here, though, because by the end of God of War 3, he... I think he died, but obviously he didn't. So we don't really know how he got out of that one yet. Nope. What about this? Alright, boy. Let's go find the deer. Ooh, that is a... That is a man-made infrastructure. You lead the way. Up there! You went in the old temple. But mom told me never to go in there. 
We do what we please, boy. No excuses. The old temple. We haven't seen anything yet, but I'm pretty sure there's still stuff like gods around here. Oh yeah, I remembered what I was gonna say earlier. From playing a little bit of God of War 3. Oh, how do I get over there? There's a chest there. Can we somehow... Atreus, to me. I'm coming, oh. I'm coming. Atreus? Is that how you say his name? Atreus. Doesn't seem like we can go down. Yeah, from playing 3, opening chests and stuff, that's, uh, that's a thing that we do pretty frequently, so even though it's rebooted, definitely a lot of things are staying the same here. Maybe we'll go back for the chests later. Can I have my bow back now? Can you hit it from here? We should get closer. Doesn't want to be yelled at again. I wonder if we ever come back to these places, because might have missed those chests just now, but I don't think it's a big deal either way. I went hunting with Mother a bunch of times. She never wanted to take me. Why now? It was her wish. And it was time. Okay. Your mother is gone now, so you gotta learn how to fend for yourself. If you never wanted to take him, it could be something as simple as like a fatherly desire to not want to expose his child to the darknesses of the world, so to say. Okay, great. During combat, an enemy's health bar is displayed above them when they take damage or targeted by Kratos. How do I target them? Oh, okay. We can kind of like sneak attack on them first. Oh, and then we can like boomerang this. Oh! Oh, that's beautiful! That's beautiful. Oh, that's not so beautiful. I'm trying, I'm trying, kid. It's a little bit difficult for me to... Do I have a way of targeting? Because right now, I'm just kind of hitting whatever's in front of me. And <laughs> I'm not doing too great at it, but A, it's working, I think. So you can't do it twice in a row because they get smart. But you can't do that. Beautiful. Hey. Oh, that's- I thought that was my boy! My boy's not that ugly. I think we're good for now. New tip added. Something. Sorry. Draugr fight with dangerous weapons, but they aren't very skilled with them. Not like Father and his axe. If we watch their movements, it should be easy to dodge or block their attacks. Oh, okay, so the journal is from the point of view of Atreus. Yeah, I think if we fight them one at a time, I'll probably have a better time dodging and blocking. But when they're, when they're all grouped up together, it's a little bit more difficult. Rabid Wolf. Oh, and I guess the drawing, that must be what he's drawing. It's like, this book is Atreus taking notes on how to survive and how to hunt. I've always admired wolves, but the ones we've encountered attack us on sight, which means they're probably rabid. I guess to them, we are food. I know it's killer to be killed, but still, they're beautiful in their own way, and killing them makes me a little sad. Good thing father probably won't read this. Yeah, Atreus' journal. Cool. Map! We haven't looked at the map yet. Okay. Region Wildwoods. Midgard Summary. Yeah, forget about the collectibles. Whatever. Oh! It's going to be a long journey to the mountain. I wonder when we'll go. We gotta hunt with Atreus. Father's taking me hunting before we start the journey to the mountain. Mother's wishes were clear. We let the pyre burn, then take her ashes to the highest peak in the realms. I've got to show him I'm ready, and I won't get sick anymore. Ah, so he's sickly. He was sickly when he was a kid. <laughs> he still is a kid. 
Mom wanted us to scatter them together. I won't let her down. Ah. Mm, I'm guessing the mother was sick too, because... Otherwise, why would she talk about herself dying like that? Yeah. Alright, alright. Gotta open that gate. Something's gotta open it. How about the chain right here, boy? It's opening. Oh, but if I let go... Wait, what do you- you want me to- What do you want me to do with the axe? You want me to just throw it? Uh, I mean, I can throw it, but... What am I- Ah! You froze it in place. Clever. Wow. Wow. Hold up. Before that... Hmm, <laughs> that's a coffin. That is a coffin. Of someone long dead. A warrior! You can see their shield. We are quite literally desecrating graves here, but hey, gotta do what we can to survive. Nope. So... Oh, now I retrieve the axe. Nice. And now we're both trapped in here for all of eternity. <laughs> I think he's this way. No, oh, you know your father's gotta look around. That is also a coffin. That's okay. That's okay. This... Huh. Goes back to the place that we just came from. Doesn't it? No. <laughs> oh yes, that would be good. I'm really low on health. What is this? There is something beyond there. It's not something we can just... No. Okay, maybe we come back later. Fine. This is where the Draugrs were dropping down from. Oh, which means... There is something here. Oh. Huh. What is that? <laughs> A piece of wood just sticking to Kratos' face. Boy, over here. Oh look! It's Skull and Hati. The giant wolves who chase the sun and moon. Where did they come from? How did they get up there? What's happening there at the end? They eat the sun and moon? And then everybody fights? Oh, look at that. He's writing it down in his journal. Every shrine tells the story of a giant of legend. Okay. The giants left behind shrines that tell stories from their history. I love these stories when mom told them. Let's see how many we can find. Okay. Oh, I can't read them. Oh, but I can read that. Wolf giants! Skull chases the sun and Hati the moon. What happens when they catch their prey? Looks like a massive fight. Odin, Thor, and the World Serpent. Could it be...? Hmm. That... <laughs> Skull? Hati? Okay. Huh. Can't say I know about this well enough to deduct what it means. All right, Treyas, let's go. Back to the mystical deer. That was not a normal deer. Its horns were glowing, white, blue. Look at that, that is so cute. When they go up and down the chain together. Red flag, again. Father. Look. Wait for my mark. Relax. Do not think of it as an animal. It is simply a target. Clear your mind. Feet solid. Steady yourself. 
Exhale and release. I got it! Good. I don't know if that was a good spot to hit the deer. What are we getting it for? For food? For its hide? Or it's what? Still alive. Oh god. Your knife. Time to learn, son. No. Finish what you started. <sighs> I can't. Even though... Whoa! Oh. We're gonna fight that? We have no choice. English, please? Doll, cup more? Press square to command Atreus to shoot arrows. Hold L2 then shoot... Oh, we get to... We have to do it for him. Okay, enemies will be distracted from attacking Kratos when they are hit by an arrow. Okay, all right. The number of arrows Atreus can shoot is indicated in the lower right corner. One shot, arrows take time to recharge. So we should use one ASAP as soon as this is done. Gotta go. Where do go is there a specific spot we should be shooting him with? The arrows? Holy god. Oh! His head? I don't feel like he's getting distracted at all. I'm trying to command both things at once, but it's a little bit difficult. Am I doing this right? Because it doesn't seem like he's getting distracted. didn't get him at all. It's best when me and Atreus are standing at different parts. Oh, that's right! We can do the whole thing with the axe, too. Me and my son should be standing in different places to take advantage of the whole distraction thing. Patience, son! Patience! Okay. I think we need to shoot him multiple times to get his attention. For Atreus to get his attention. Oh, my freaking axe! Look at my son! Look at my son! Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, we gotta calm down. Because we're almost dying. How do I run a little... There we go. Shoot! Oh! Okay, no, I got it. I got it. Second time, I got it. Basically, we have to use Atreus' arrows to constantly distract them first. Okay, we got it. Okay, second time. It's a little bit much for me to remember all these combinations right now. Because there's a lot of, like, different combinations we can use to... Yeah. We can get him like this, slowly. Okay, me and Atreus have to be standing in different places for the distraction to be good. Like right now. I gotta get behind him. Look at my son. Patience, patience, son. Shoot. I never really tell him to watch out, but he's always watching out for me. <laughs> it's kind of sweet. Oh! Nope. Look at my son. Look at my son. Those arrows are slowly chipping him down a little bit, so they're not doing nothing. Oh! Crap. Slow and steady. Atreus goes down pretty quickly. Crap! Uh-oh. Gotta be a little bit careful here now. Is it possible for me to heal? Because if not, then I'm just going to slowly try to strafe around for now. How am I not ready? 
We are going home. I haven't been sick in a long time. I can do this. You are not ready. He's so young. I am ready. Do not speak again. If you still remember 20 minutes ago, <laughs> when we killed the deer, I was saying, even though... The path home is this way. Duh. <laughs> Attitude, boy. Yeah. I was gonna say, even though when Atreus shot the bow, he... Like, when you shoot a bow at a living creature, you sort of expect that you'll kill them, right? But then, a bow is something like... It's sort of detached because you shoot a bow and the arrow kills the deer. It's sort of like you yourself are not actually killing it. So shooting a bow versus having to stab a knife into the deer. That was a little bit different in Atreus' mind. And now, we suddenly went from that to having to kill this gigantic monster here. So I feel like... Combining all that with... Having this really strict dad, his mom dying... Atreus has a tough life so far. Man. Man. Hey, killing that thing? That was really exhilarating. Um, toward the end of the second time there, I don't know. I guess we should be using the whole boomerang function a little bit more often, although I feel like it's not as epic to do it like that. But, it's a perfectly safe way to... Oh, is that gonna come back? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a really safe way to water down an enemy without having to put yourself in danger. Okay. Can I read the journal? Oh, okay. So I, during the fight, I figured out how to run. Did it teach me how to run before that? Because I don't think so. <laughs> how do I pull up the journal? Oh, okay, we have... Oh. I guess we don't have to look at this yet, because they never told me about it yet. Okay. Armor, skills. Yeah, gonna leave all that alone for now. Map, goals. So until, until Kratos finds Atreus... Ready. We're not gonna go gather mom's ashes together. Okay. Codex. That's the lore. I can't read this. Okay. Oh, Dowdy Cop Matter? <laughs> I think the troll we just fought was a Dowdy Cop Matter. Mother used to always tell me stories about him to try to scare me if I wandered off too far. I think she'd be proud of me. But father thinks because I got a little angry that I'm not ready. Whatever. I just helped him kill a troll. I know I'm ready. Mother told me a lot of stories about trolls. This one's name translates to Death Merchant. With a name like that, I think it's safe to assume he was pretty evil. I'm glad we killed him. Hmm. He's so young though. First of all, he's not good enough, like, um, attack-wise. <laughs> he can't survive here. You helped me kill the troll, but you were getting stomped around by him, so... I mean, it's not like you did it yourself. And that reaction he had to the troll dying was a bit... I guess in the middle of a battlefield, you don't want to let your emotions get the best of you, because that could be... That could end up being very dangerous. Okay, well... Wow! This is off to a great start! I remember seeing all this in... Was it E3? When they first showed off God of War? But actually being the one to play it. This is so fun. This is really fun! And I'm really enjoying the whole tense relationship we have going on with Kratos and Atreus, too. Really, really fun, and looking forward to how it goes. But we'll end it off here for now, and I'll see you back here for the next part!